The creative voice lies very deep within the artist, beyond the realms of logic or thought, and the artist's role is to find and release this voice. The creative voice is not in the subject matter or form of the work, it's in the sound, and this reflects the essence of the artist, their spirit, not what they think. So artists choose an area of art where they can facilitate the release or letting go of that voice. There's a huge excitement in a work when one witnesses the shift between substrate and product. From when the canvas shifts from being a seeming chaos of substrate to a unity of product. I have chosen abstraction because it's very much about this reaction process. You feed the reaction and you're forever on the lookout for that switch between substrate and product. This for me is the release of one's voice. This is where all parts are orchestrated. What one has to do in a painting is make the surface come alive. One needs to use the language of paint to create a sense of being alive. If one looks at a flower, an ant or even the sky, it's not the subject matter that's so important. It's the sense that what you are looking at is alive. In a painting, it's not so much giving the work the energy of the subject matter, although this has been valid and to a degree still is. It's about creating the sense that what the viewer is looking at is full of life. Abstraction tackles this notion outside of a subject matter. It's not something you can point to or describe. It's something you sense, something you attune your senses to. It can be sensed in a complex composition, a single mark or a uniform field of one colour. What it resides in is irrelevant. The need for it to exist is crucial for an artwork to have any worth.